Isaiah chapter yes. 7. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is an awesome God. Yes, He is. And He is definitely worthy of all His praise. Yes, He is. And we have vowed to praise Him no matter what. Hallelujah. We're going to praise Him. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. I had an awesome time with the Lord early today. It was just so beautiful. I just, if I could just share with you a minute, I, I just laughed and I just talked to the Lord and it was just so amazing. Um, so I hope that you will be able to at least receive the joy that I received on this morning. It was beautiful. It was so awesome. So we're going to go to Isaiah chapter 7, verse 1 through 14. Uh, of course, we're going to go to other scriptures as well, but we're going to read Isaiah 7, 1 to 14. And it came to pass in the day, days of Ahaz, the son of Jotham, the son of Uzziah, king of Judah, that Rezin, the king of Syria, and Pekah, the son of Ramalia, king of Israel, went up toward Jerusalem to war against it, but could not prevail against it. And it was told the house of David, saying, Syria is con confederate with Ephraim. And his heart was moved, and the heart of his people, as the trees of the wood, are moved with the wind. Then said the Lord unto Isaiah, Go forth now to meet Ahaz, thou and Sharon Jashub thy son, at the end of the conduit of the upper pool in the highway of the fuller's field. And say unto him, Take heed and be quiet. Fear not, neither be faint-hearted. For the two tails of these smoking firebrands, for their fierce anger of reason with Syria, and of son of Ramalia, because Syria, Ephraim, and the son of Ramalia have taken evil counsel against these, saying, Let us go up against Judah and vex it, and let us make a breach therein for us, and let set a king in the midst of it, even the son of Tabael. Thus saith the Lord God, it shall not stand, neither shall it come to pass. We're looking at King Ahab, who is the king of Judah, King Ahaz. And these two kingdoms, Syria and also Jerusalem, went to war against the king of Judah. And when they warred against the king of Judah, they could not win. They couldn't prevail. They didn't win. But what they ended up doing was they started making confederacy with the inward family. Ephraim. They began to become confederate with Ephraim. Who was Ephraim? You all remember the story of, of Joseph and how Joseph was in the land of Egypt. And in the land of Egypt, he had a wife and he also had children. So he had Manasseh and Ephraim. So these are the children that were also included with the covenant that Jacob put upon his children. Amen. Because Jacob said, these will be my children. And he also laid hands on one of the, one and the other. And he laid hands on the younger, that the younger will rule the older. And Joseph did not like that. He didn't like it because he knew what conflict he had gone through. Amen. His own family. But this is that Ephraim. So because it could not penetrate Judah, come on, the praisers. He could not penetrate Judah, that one, that tribe that will praise him. He had to come in and infiltrate from within. And so the Lord is telling, telling them to fear not. Verse 4, saying to him, take heed and be quiet. Fear not, neither be faint-hearted, for the two tails of these smoking firebrands, they're firebrands. He said, they're tails, the one of Syria and the one of Jerusalem. Um, for the fierce anger of reason with Syria and of the son of Ramalia, because Syria and Ephraim and the son of Ramalia have taken evil counsel against these saying. This is what they were saying. Let us go up against Judah. So they said, let us go up against the praise. Let us go against Judah. Let us go against them. And that's it. Let's trouble them. Let's make them so unsteady that they don't want to continue in their place. We have to weaken them. Let's weaken them. And let us make a breach therein for us. So let us make a, a let's break a system right. to allow ourselves to come in. Right. 
and set a king in the midst of it, even a son of Tamiel. So they're saying, we're going to come in, trouble Judah, tear it up, and place ourselves in a position, and then put in a new king instead of Ahaz. Right. But the Lord said, huh. it shall not stand. It shall not. Neither shall it come to pass. Wow. So people within are making covenants with those that are outside, with the enemies. And we know that those of the kings of Jerusalem were always evil. Right. This is where Ahab had come in and, and, and Jezebel, his wife, and right. the different kings that were over Jerusalem. And so we understand that they've always had evil kings. But they wanted to set themselves against the praise. But God said it shall not stand, neither shall it come to pass. And look at verse 2, it says, Moreover, the Lord spake again unto Ahaz, um, huh, oh, oh, yeah. And he says, um, ask thee a sign of the Lord thy God. Ask it either in the depth or in the height above. So God is saying, I want to prove to you right. that what they're doing is not going to work. Right. I, I need to prove to you. Wow. He said, I'm going to establish this thing. Wow. Verse 9 says, and the head of Ephraim is Samaria. And the head of Samaria is Ramalia's son. If you will not believe, surely you shall not be established. you got to believe. Right. Yes. If you don't believe, you will not be established. Mm -hmm. So the Lord is talking, and he said, ask a sign. Look, I want to make sure you understand. I want to make sure you truly believe. Ask the sign of the Lord thy God. Ask it either in the depth or in the height above. But Ahab said, I will not ask. Neither will I tempt the Lord. You know, some people think, no, I'm not going to ask God because I just want to believe what he said. I'm not going to tempt God because I don't believe him. I don't want to tempt But the prophet is telling him. You need to ask. Right. But Ahaz said, I will not ask, neither will I tempt the Lord. And he said, Hear ye now, O house of David. Is it a small thing for you to weary men, but will you weary my God also? He's telling him, Look, you house of David. Remember, David comes from this tribe of Judah. Yeah. Right? And David is king. And we know that David is the one that was a king that was set up after God's own heart. Right. Amen. We know that Saul was set up. He was set up for the heart of the people. Right. God already told the people what kind of man Saul would be. Right. He let Samuel tell the people what he would be. Yeah. He would take all your people, put them into his camp. He would put them into slavery. Yeah. He would take your daughters, make them into confession. Not only that, he'll take your property yeah. for himself. Right. So yes, there are even plans that have been written <laughs> to where they don't want anybody to have their own property. Right. They take your property and disseminate it to those who they want to give it to. Right. So he's talking about David. David was a giver. David loved God. Yeah. David loved God and David done what the Lord told him to do. Yeah. And the things that he done on his own, he went to God and God forgave him. Right. All right, verse 13, he said, Hear ye now, O house of David, is a small thing for you to weary men, but will you weary my God also? Therefore, the Lord himself shall give you a sign. He said, okay, since you won't ask, I'm going to give you a sign. Mm -hmm. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. So here is the promise of Emmanuel, and we know that Emmanuel is God with us. Yeah. God is saying, this is a plan. Mm -hmm. This is a plan. Mm -hmm. So there's the things that are already being set up, but God said, trust his plan That's right. and trust his process. Yeah. Because you never say, trust the plan. Trust, trust the plan. plan. Trust the process. Trust the process. Uh, so he's going to send Emmanuel, God, with us. The virgin is going to, is she's going to conceive, and she's going to bear this holy thing. And this holy thing is going to be here in this time, and he's going to conquer the world. So trust the plan. So this is the plan already set. Right. Isaiah 8. We're still going to roll with the scriptures. Verse, verse 3. And I went unto the prophetess. Now I'm going to go to verse 1. Moreover, the Lord said unto me, Take thee a great robe and write in it with a man's pen concerning Maha Shalah Hashbash. And I took unto me faithful witnesses to record Uriah the priest and Zechariah the son of Jerachah. And I went into the prophetess, and she conceived and bare a son. 
Then said the Lord to me, Call his name Maha Shalah Hashbaj. For before the child shall have knowledge to cry, my father and my mother, the riches of Damascus and the spoil of Samaria shall be taken away before the king of Assyria. The Lord spake also unto me again, saying, For as much as this people refuseth the waters of Shiloh that go softly, and rejoice in reason and Ramalia's son, now therefore behold, the Lord bringeth up upon them the waters of the river, strong and many, even the king of Assyria, and all his glory. He shall come up over all his channels and go over all his banks, and he shall pass through Judah, he shall overflow and go over. He shall reach even to the neck, and the, out, and the stretching out of his wings shall fill the breath of thy land, O Emmanuel. Associate yourselves, O ye people, and ye shall be broken in pieces. Give ear, all ye of far countries. Gird yourselves, and ye shall be broken in pieces. Gird yourselves, and ye shall be broken in pieces. Take counsel together, and it shall come to naught. It won't work. Speak the word, and it shall not stand, for God is with us. Yes. Mm -hmm. For the Lord spake thus to me with a strong hand and instructed me that I should not walk in the way of this people, saying, Say ye not a confederacy to all them to whom this people shall say a confederacy. Neither fear ye their fear, nor be afraid. Sanctify the Lord of hosts himself, and let him be your fear, and let him be your dread. So we're still dealing with reason. And we're dealing with Ramalia's son. And God's going to, he said, that you refuse the smooth waters. The waters of Shiloh. The one that was going to bring you peace. You refuse that. So because you refuse it, when I gave you opportunity to repent, I'm going to allow the king of Assyria to come in. And he's going to come in and overthrow and reach over. His whole, he's going to take over a whole area. So he said, go on and take counsel together. You think of what I'm saying is gonna, it's not going to be? It's going to be. Just go and take counsel because it won't work. Okay. Whatever you say is not going to stand. Right. Uh-huh. Because guess what? God is with us. God yeah. is with the hearers yeah. of his word. Yeah. God is with you. God is with the doers of his word. Yeah. 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 Uh-huh. So the Lord says, sanctify the Lord of hosts himself and let him be here. So don't fear. Listen. Don't fear what the other people are fearing. Please don't. When God is with you, yeah. he is your fear. Yes. Yeah. Because your neighbor said, don't fear them. Don't, don't fear them. them. Don't fear what they're saying. Don't fear what they're, they're saying. They're doing a lot of repeating, and they're thinking that yeah. these things are going to happen for their purpose and for their glory. But God said, it's not going to stand. Hmm. It's not going to work. Somebody say, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. It's just not going to work. <laughs> you just got to know it's not going to work. Nah. And he shall be for a sanctuary, but for a stone of stumbling, and for a rock of, of offense to both the houses of Israel, for a, for a gin and for a snare to the inhabitants of Jerusalem. So he's going to be a trap. Hmm. Just yeah. my said, it's a trap. It's, it's a, a trap. trap. Wow. Uh. Uh. It's a trap. It's a trap. What they thought they set up, uh. wow. and they thought that they good. Right. And they thought they was going to take over and bring a breach in the church. Oh, that's what they thought. And they thought they was going to be able to bring their own person in position through yeah. the church. Yeah. yeah. They thought they was going to set their own king in the church. Right. They said, we're going to break them up. We're going to vex them. We're going to tell them you can't sing. That's what they We're going to make them all troubled and weak. Uh -huh. we but whatever your plans are, it's not going it's to work. It's not going to work. God is sending Assyria over to y'all. Yeah. Huh? Bind up the testimony. This is verse 16 because it's a trap. Uh -huh. Look, it's a trap. There's a gin and there's a snare. You set up uh -huh. gins and snares in the forest because when they run through the forest, they can't see the snare and they can't see the gin. Right. They can't see the trappings. That's all in the trees. Mm -hmm. So they're going through this place, but they're going, it's a trap. Look, it's a trap. Yeah. Wow. Somebody needs to, somebody needs to get that. Yeah. Tell somebody it's really a trap. It's, it's really a trap. trap. Really a trap. Bind up the testimony. Seal the law among my disciples. And I will wait upon the Lord that hideth his face from the house of Jacob, and I will look for him. Hmm. Behold, I and the children whom the Lord hath given me are for signs and for wonders in Israel from the Lord of hosts which dwelleth in Mount Zion. Hmm. And when they shall say unto you, Seek unto them that have familiar spirits, nope. and unto wizards that peep and that mutter. Should not a people seek unto their God for the living to the dead? So shall not a people seek to their God? Uh -huh. Their God is the God of the living. Uh -huh. He's not the God of the dead. Right. 
So they're going to seek their own. So they're not going to be going to no familiar spirits and, and no fake prophets. And right. They're not going to these strange people that God is not with. Right. Because your word is with the confederacy. It's not with the word of God. Right. Right. Because you are wicked. You're walking around with familiar spirits talking through you. Right. Right. To the law and to the testimony. If they speak not according to this word, it's because there's no light in them. Yeah. Right. There's no light. And they shall pass through it, hardly be fed and hungry. And it shall come to pass that when they shall be hungry, they shall fret themselves and curse their king and their God and look upward. And they shall look unto the earth and behold trouble and darkness, mm. dimness of anguish, and they shall be driven to darkness. Uh, All those that trust in the lie, uh, they're going to see the trouble on the land my God. because they're going to be driven yeah. to darkness. Nevertheless, the dimness shall not be such as was in her vexation, when at the first he lightly afflicted the land of Zebulon and the land of Naphtali, and afterward did more grievously afflict, afflict her by the way of the sea beyond Jordan and Galilee of the nations. The people that walk in darkness have seen a great light. They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death, upon them hath the light shine. Thou hast multiplied the nation and not increased to joy. They joy before thee according to the joy in harvest, and as men rejoice when they divide the spoil. For thou hast broken the yoke of his burden, and the staff of his shoulder, the rod of his oppressor, as in the day of Midian. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled over and in a whole bunch of confusion. Sure is. Every battle of a warrior is with confused noise. You don't know what to shout about. Wait a minute, what's the shouting about? What's the horns for? It's a whole lot of noise going on. Right. It's a lot of confusion. Right. Right. And garments right. rolled up. But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. Hmm. Verse 6. For unto us a child is born. Yeah. Unto us a son is given. God told Ahaz about Emmanuel. Yeah. This is going to be the sign. And the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end. Look at somebody said, there's no end. There's no end. Upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth, even forever, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. So they thought they was going to bring in their king. God said, I got one. Huh. So they thought. And this one, his king, there will be no end. Huh. In his kingdom there. So Christ have come. Yeah. Christ has come. He was the Emmanuel. Yes. He has come. And he has walked this earth. He had his kingdom has been established. Yeah. His kingdom is without end. Right. If his kingdom be without end, what are you afraid of? Right. right. He's got peace that doesn't change. His, in his peace, there is a covenant. And he's not going to change. He's given us everything that he has given to us. And in him, he is wonderful. Yeah. He is the counselor. He's the mighty God, the everlasting father. He is the prince of peace. Right. So he is the one that you need to trust. Right. Trust the plan. He is the plan. Yeah. Right. Trust the plan. He is the plan. But yeah. people got to be processed for the plan. Because the plan is at hand and Jesus is about to hit this place. Right. The bricks are falling down, but we will build with hewn stone. The sycamores are cut down, but we will change them into cedars. Mm -hmm. So listen, they're saying, look, it may be tore up, but we're going to build again. Right. Mm -hmm. These people think that they're going to be able to build stuff again. Right. When God is shaking and breaking stuff down. Right. 
And they said, that's all right. We won't use the stone, but we'll use sycamores. We'll use something else. Verse 11, therefore, the Lord shall set up the adversaries of reason against him and join his enemies together. So guess what? The enemies are going to come. The enemies are going to come. So what they think that they're going to do, they're going to be able to build things back up. They're going to be able to, like, this is nothing. There's nothing that's happened, nothing to see here. We're just going to keep doing what we've been doing all along. Ha. We'll just build again no matter what. Wow. God saying, I got some bigger enemies for you. Right. Wow. Twelve, the Syrians before and the Philistines behind. And they shall devour Israel with open mouth. For all this is anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out sealed. For the people turneth not unto him that smiteth them, neither do they seek the Lord of hosts. Look, he has smitten us. Yeah. The whole world is on a punishment. Yeah. <laughs> and everybody's in the corner still want to play games. He said, he's smitten you, but you're not coming to him. Mm. Wow. Yeah. You're still doing what you want to do. Right. You still think that you can just build something else new. Mm -mm. 13, for the people turneth not unto him that smiteth them, neither do they seek the Lord of hosts. Therefore, the Lord will cut off from Israel head and tail, branch and rush in one day. Wow. The ancient and honorable is the head. And the prophet that teacheth lies, he is the tail. Mm. So we the head, he makes us the head and not the tail. The one that teaches lies, that's the tail. Yeah. Right. For the leaders of this people cause them to err. Mm. Right. And they that are led of them are destroyed. Wow. Therefore, the Lord shall have no joy in their young men, neither shall have mercy on their fatherless and widows, for every one is a hypocrite My God. and an evildoer, and every mouth speaketh folly. For all this, his anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still. Yeah. Somebody said, God is still merciful. God. God. Yeah. His hand is still stretched out. Yeah. No matter what the plan, God is saying, My hand is still stretched out. I can still say my armor's not too short that I cannot right. see. Right. So his, it's still stretched out. Come on, somebody say there's still time. There's still time. There's still time. There's still time to repent. Yeah. 18, for wickedness burneth as the fire. It shall devour the briars and thorns and shall kindle in the thickest of the forest. And they shall mount up like the lifting of smoke. Through the wrath of the Lord of hosts is the land darkened. And the people shall be as fuel of the fire. No man shall spare his brother. And he shall snatch on the right hand and be hungry. And shall eat on the left hand and they shall not be satisfied. They shall eat every man the flesh of his own arm. Yeah. Huh. Manasseh, Ephraim, Ephraim, Manasseh, and they together shall be against Judah. For all this, his anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still. So you coming against your brother. <laughs> you coming against your family. God said, I see it, but my hand is stretched out. Ten and one. One to the decree, unrighteous decrees, and that right grievousness which they have prescribed. This is what they have done. Right. To turn aside the needy from judgment. So they turn us aside, those that are really in need, they're turning them away from judgment. Right. And to take away the right from the poor of my people, that widows may be their prey, and that they may rob the fatherless. So they're here to rob the fatherless. Yeah. They're here to take over the yeah. widows, things that are meant for the widows. And what will you do in the day of visitation and in the desolation which shall come from far? To whom will you flee for help? And where will you leave your glory? Mm -hmm. Without me, they shall bow down under the prisoners, and they shall fall under the slain. For all this, his anger is not turned away, yeah. but his hand is stretched yeah. out still. Yeah. Somebody say, God is so merciful. Yeah. God is so He's so still merciful. Yes, he is. Five, O oh, Assyrian, the rod of my anger and the staff in their hand is my indignation. I will send him against a hypocritical nation and against the people of my wrath will I give him a charge to take the spoil and to take the prey and to tread them down like mire of the streets. Howbeit he meeteth not so, neither doeth his heart think so, but it is in his heart to destroy, to cut off nations, not a few. For he said, are not my princes altogether kings? So he wants to come in and he's going to be allowed to come in and destroy. That's in his heart. Mm -hmm. But God is going to destroy him. Amen. God is going to do it. Amen. So what's going on here? This is, a, this is a process. This is the plan. These things are still happening. But God's hands is still stretched out. Yeah. He said, I'm still, look, God is so merciful. Yeah. 
God is still so merciful. His hands is my my hand is still stretched out. So the anointing is what destroys the yoke. Yeah. God is going to send his anointing that the yoke would be destroyed off of his people. Yeah. And so we look at Hebrews 4. Let's go to Hebrews chapter 4. Because now we're looking at where God has taken us through all of this. Because God did say that even though this time is a very tumultuous time, he still wants his people to enter into his rest. You got to enter into his rest. So even though this feels like it's a wilderness and we're walking through different things and things are happening in this wilderness and people are murmuring and complaining, the snakes is coming out and biting folks and different things is happening. The gospel is preached unto them as it is unto us. Yeah. Yeah. But because they did not hear the word being mixed with faith, it didn't profit them at all. You got to believe and have faith. <laughs> you got to hear the word with faith. Yeah. Because if you don't mix it with faith, you won't it, it won't profit you. Right. right. And so the word of God is preached unto them. Yeah. Just like it is unto us. Hebrews 4. Let us therefore fear that the promise promise being left us of entering into his rest, any of you should seem to come short of it. For unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them, but the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. For we which have believed do enter into rest. Mm. And he said, as I sworn in my wrath, if they shall enter into my rest, although the works were finished from the foundation of the world. For he spake in a certain place on the seventh day on this wise, and God did rest the seventh day from all his works. So God is saying here, look, I've already finished the works already from the beginning. Right. Because on the seventh day, it said he rested. Yeah. Right. And the works were already done. Right. They're already finished. Right. So now you just got to believe his plan. Right. Believe, and when you believe his plan and you believe that there's a process to this whole thing and you can rest in what he's doing, right. when somebody said God got it under control. God got it under control. When you can rest in what he's doing, then you don't have to fear. You don't right. have to have the world's fear. Right. You got the fear of God, and right. you're not doing your own works. Right. You're not doing your own thing. Right. You're doing what the Lord is telling you to do. Yeah. So there is a promise of another day. Yeah. Um, verse 4, For he spake in a certain place of the seventh day on this wise, and God did rest the seventh day from all his works, and in this place again he shall enter into my rest. See, therefore, it remaineth that some must enter in, and they to whom it was first preached entered not in because of unbelief. Mm -hmm. Again, he limited a certain day, saying in David, today after long a time, after so long a time, as it is said, today if you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Yeah. For if Jesus, and that's Joshua, had given them rest, then would he not afterward have spoken of another day? So they didn't have the rest with Joshua. Right. When Joshua was taking them to the promised land, right? And right. they were getting all the, the places that they were supposed to abide, right? right. You had um, Judah having their lands. You had the different Dan have his lands. Right. You had Benjamites having their lands. Right. So here we're still talking about another day. Yes. Verse 9. There, there remained therefore a rest to the people of God. For he that has entered into his rest... He also has ceased from his own works as God did from his. Let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest, lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief. Now, we looked at even when the children of Israel were going into their land. We looked at the time when the Lord had sent the spies out. There were 12 spies that were sent out. And there was only two that came back with a good report. Remember, the other ones were fearful to go in. They were fearful. They looked and they said, oh, no, it's a bunch of giants. Look at these. I mean, they had vines that came back with huge grapes. But they said, well, you know, we were like, um, like, like grasshoppers. They're giants, but we're like grasshoppers. They made the people so sad. They made the people so fearful. The only ones that had a different report was Joshua and Caleb. Right. So these were the two that had an excellent spirit. Their spirit was not like the rest that gave the bad news. Right. And they began to speak to the people. And God was upset because of what they spoke to the people. And they made the people sorrowful rather than trusting in God for the next phase of ministry. Right. And so what ended up happening was because they saw how it angered God, they said, well, we're going to go do it now. Right. He said, don't you do it because God ain't with you. That's right. Hmm. 
So you got to do stuff when God is telling you. And you got to agree with God when he, when he's giving you something, believe what he's saying. So the gospel, the good news for them, look, you're going to a territory. And I'm sending you over and you're going to take over. And when you get there, it doesn't matter what they look like. You already got the land. Right. It already belongs to you. Right. But they sent a bad report. Yeah. But the land still belongs to them. Yeah. So all those that doubted that were in unbelief, they ended up dying in the wilderness. But the children that they kept saying they're going to die. In the wilderness, he said, I'll take them. Yeah. I'll take them. I'll take Joshua and Caleb. But this is another place. So God wants you to enter into the rest of God. Yeah. The works, listen, you got to know the works is already done. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Tell somebody it's already done. It's already, it's already done. done. There's nothing else to do but just wait and praise God. Right. There's nothing else that needs to be done. Just wait and praise the Lord. Yeah. Understand what he's <laughs> Understand what he's already done. Yeah. Okay, some of you, you know, you, you work and you know you got a paycheck coming. You wait. Every two weeks or maybe every week, you might get paid. Mm -hmm. And you just have confidence that right. that check is going to be there. Mm -hmm. That's right. You're not worried about it. Mm -hmm. you, you've had a constant relationship with your job. They've never played around with your money. Right. They know that you work for it and you get your 80 hours of pay right. or 40 hours, however you get paid, weekly, bi-weekly. But you know that you're going to get it. Right. God has been consistent. Yes. Yes. He yes. has not changed. Yeah. 
And one thing about the rest of God, I said, wow, let's look at verse 9. There remained therefore a rest of the people of God. For he that is entered into his rest, he also has ceased from his own works, as God did from his. Let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest, lest any man should seem to fall short of him. And so the word of God says this quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing of sunder, soul and spirit, of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Nevertheless, let us, um, uh, never, neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight, but all things are naked and open unto the eyes of him with whom we have to do. We have Jesus Christ as the high priest. Yeah. And this is what I want you to know. Tell somebody things have been changed. Things yeah. have been changed. The Messiah has already come mm -hmm. and his kingdom is without end. Yes. Somebody said that. It's without end. It's without his kingdom end. never ends. Right. His kingdom will always continue. The Aaronic priesthood stopped. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus came after the order of Melchizedek. Right. He was of the tribe of Judah. Right. And it was nowhere written that Judah would become a priest. Right. Right. Just the Levites. Mm -hmm. right. Aaron's seed. Right. Jesus came in after the order of Melchizedek. Having no mother, no father. Melchizedek had no mother, no father. But he shows up right. in Genesis when the kings went to battle. And he comes down from heaven and he's eating with the kings and receiving tithes of them. Right. Jesus comes after the same order. Mm. Never said the order has changed. Mm. Order has changed. Some people are still operating like the Levites are still in charge of the high priesthood. Wow. They may still be in charge of some things in the house of God, but the high priest comes from Jesus. Yeah. He went up and he went down. When Jesus was ministering, he would be up in glory and be down here at the same time. Right. right. So you also have, so here they are entering in. Somebody say, you got to enter into the rest. got to enter into the rest. The rest where the works are already finished. Yeah. The works are already done. Yeah. The works are already finished. I'm going to say it again. The works are already done. Yeah. If you understand Enoch, Enoch was a man of God that will go up and that will come down. Right. He will go up to the kingdom of heaven. Yeah. And he would hear what the Lord is saying. Right. And he would come down to back to earth and tell the people what God was saying. Yeah. Everybody yeah. say, yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. So he would go up and he would come down. Right. And he would give the gospel to the people that were hurting. Right. Not only that, he was up and he was reproving those wicked angels. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. He would reprove the angels. He would punish the angels. Uh -huh. Things that they should not have done. The Bible says that don't you know you shall judge the angels? Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. We're talking about entering to his rest. Yeah. So here is Enoch as an example going up and coming down, reproving angels, reproving principalities, reproving dominions and powers for wicked things that they are doing above ground yeah. in the heavenly places. Yeah. They begged Enoch, please, um, can you talk to God right. so that he don't punish us like this? <laughs> can you talk to God? Enoch was a human being yeah, he was. that was full of God, yeah. mm -hmm. but he was able to go up right. and rebuke right. and come back down. Right. right. Jesus, after the order of Melchizedek, this is the high priest. Right. The priesthood mm -hmm. has changed. Yeah, yeah. The people that are entering into the rest of God, you go up uh -huh. and you come down. Uh -huh. Listen, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Right, right. right. We wrestle not against, but against principalities, yeah. right. against powers, right. against spiritual wickedness. Yeah. Come on, against these evil folks, the hosts that are in heavenly places, yeah. these right. hosts, yeah. these wicked spirits. We're coming against them right. that right. use people. Right. And with God, everything is made manifest. Yeah. Right. So the word of God is quick. It's powerful yeah. and sharper than any two-edged yeah. sword, but it also manifests what is hidden yeah. in the person. Right, right, right. Yeah. right. Yeah. 
Verse 13, neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight. But all things are naked and open unto the eyes of him with whom we have to do. When the word of God is spoken, it'll cut that principality away from the human. Yeah. 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 Come on. The word of God in you is sharper than any two-edged sword. Right. Thank you, Lord. This next phase, people will have principalities that they have welcome inside. Mm -hmm. And as you speak the word of God, That might be touched 
and that burn with fire, nor unto blackness and darkness and tempest, and the sound of a trumpet and the voice of words which voice they had heard, entreated that the word should not be spoken unto them any longer. For they could not endure that which was commanded. And if so much as a beast touched the mountain, it shall be stoned or thrust through with a dart. Mm. And so terrible was the sight that Moses said, I exceedingly fear and quake. Look, so it's a change. It's a change. We're not at that mountain. Mm. We're not at the mountain where you see the darkness and you see the fire burning. It's dark. Fire's burning, things is quaking. Even if an animal touched the, touched the mountain, he was going to get shot with a dart. Yeah. Even Moses said, I see the quake. Yes. But when Moses was up in the presence of God, did he or did he not get the tablets of God? Right. Yeah. Right. When Moses was in the presence of God, did or did he not get the whole pattern for right. the tabernacle yeah. right. in the wilderness? Right. Yeah. When Moses was in there, so he was going up, getting information yeah, to come down. Coming back right. down. Yeah, right. yeah. That's right. So we're not at that place. Huh. Uh, so what place are we at? Yeah. Now let's read. But ye are come unto the Mount of Zion. Oh, Lord Look God. at this. And unto the city of the living God. Yeah. Oh, we ain't talking about earth. Oh, yeah. Mm. No, 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 no. We're not talking about earth. You come to Mount Zion, the heavenly Mount Zion. You come unto the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem. The heavenly Jerusalem. And to an innumerable company of angels. Listen. Huh. So when you're coming to the presence of God, you're not at this mountain. No. You're at the mount. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. It's different. Mind. You're not at the mountain that no. smokes with fire because God's presence is sitting on it. Mm. No, now you're coming to the Mount Zion. Who yes. shall ascend into the holy place? Who Come shall on. Yes. He that had clean yes. hands and, and, and a pure heart. heart. How do you ascend somewhere you've never been except you have a place of rest and you can enter it? Come Woo! on. Look, but ye are come unto the Mount Zion. And unto the city of the living God, the heaven Jerusalem, and to an innumerable company of angels, to the general assembly. Oh, you think you got a general assembly uh, down here? Uh, you come to the general assembly, the church and church of the firstborn, which are written in heaven, and to God, the judge of all, and to the spirits of just men made perfect, uh, and to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant, not the old. Uh, no, the mediator of the new covenant. What about it? And to the blood a sprinkling that sprinkling better things than that of Abel. Uh, See that you refuse not him that speaketh. For if they escape not who refuse him that spake on earth, how much more shall not we escape if we turn away from him that speaketh from, from heaven? Whose voice then shook the earth? Look at the comparison. But now he had promised, saying, yet once more I shake not the earth only, but also heaven. Yeah. And this word, yet once more, signifying the removing of those things that are shaken as are made, that those things which cannot be shaken may remain. Yeah. Wherefore, we receiving a kingdom which cannot be moved. Yeah. Remember, this kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. Yeah. There has no end. That's right. You receive a kingdom that cannot be moved. Yeah. Let us have grace whereby we may serve God acceptably yeah. with reverence and godly fear yeah. for our God is a consuming fire. Yeah. You have come to the place of entry and to the place of rest. Enoch was able to go up and yeah. come down. Yeah. Enoch was able to, because God allowed him, yeah. to go up and rebuke angels. He came yeah. down with saying ten with ten thousands of saying God's gonna judge with ten the word. Yes. He's going to judge the earth with ten thousands of his saints. He had information that came from God. Yeah. Who else had experienced something like that? Mm. Well, we can also talk about Peter. Yeah. On the Mount of Transfiguration, mm -hmm. Jesus was there with Peter, James, and John. Right, right. And what happens when they get them to the Mount of Transfiguration? 
transfiguration. Jesus' wardrobe began to shine bright. His face was shining in the sun. It was brighter than the sun. And there were three, three, three things that were there for Moses. And there was also for Elijah. Elijah. And so Peter said, should we build, should we build a tabernacle for Moses? He said, no, this is my beloved son. Here you him. Yeah. But they saw his whole raiment change. Yeah. They were on earth and also in heaven. Yeah. 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 Moses said, right. <laughs> they, they, he, he already, already saw his day. Yeah. Jesus said that to the Pharisees. I already saw Moses. They said, how are you going to see Moses? Right. You're not even, how old are you? How are you going to say you already saw Moses before they were, before Moses was I am? How are you going to say that? He's right. old and gone. And how are you going to? Because you don't understand time. Right. <laughs> you don't understand who you are. Yeah. When you enter into the place of rest. Yeah. When you enter into the confidence of God, what he said, it shall be. Yeah. When you enter into it because you believe and you got faith mixed with it. Yeah. Who else got to see these things revealed? Mm. Well, let's look at Revelation of John. That whole book of Revelation. Mm -hmm. John is saying, I see and I saw. Yeah. I see and I saw. Right. I see right. and I saw. Right. I see and I saw. Not only did he see and he saw, he also participated. Yeah. Because in his hand was given, in his hand he had a, a rod. And he had to measure the city. He also participated because he had to eat, he had to eat a scroll. Mm -hmm. The whole thing. How do you do that? Right. How do you do that if you're just on the earth? That's right. right. Oh my God. He ain't going to glory yet. Mm -mm. How do you do that? God. He's entered into the rest through the sufferings. That's why don't 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 think that your sufferings me are meaningless because they are precious. Yeah. The suffering of this present time is precious. Yeah. And it's gonna be revealed in its time. The things that you have to go through, you gotta know why. So entering into the rest of God, this next season. This is why I want y'all to be ready. This is why we've been dying to the flesh. Yeah. This is why we've been doing yeah. what we needed to do. Yeah. Because this next, the works are already done from the beginning. Yeah. What did he want you to do from the beginning? Have dominion over the earth. That's right. Have dominion. Take charge. He wants you to be the head and not the tail. <clears throat> yeah. Come on. He wants you to be. So, so people have wasted time. Meaning, they are so focused on the Old Testament, mm -hmm. they don't understand the new part that came through the New Testament. Right. It was a shadow of things that was to come. Uh -huh. The prophets, they all waited for this day to happen. Mm -hmm. He said the kingdom suffered violence, and the violence had to take it by force. Right. Who saw the glory? John saw that God, he said, the one that you see, the spirit coming down like a dove, it's him. Yeah. John, when Jesus came to be baptized, he said, no, I didn't even be baptized of you. But God already showed him what was going to happen. Paul, the apostle, Come on. he said, you know, uh, um, I knew a man in Christ was in the body or body. I don't even know. <laughs> but all I know is there were so many wonderful things that I saw, I can't even say it all. Right. I can't even utter it. But there was in me a, a thorn that was in the flesh. So, so listen, Paul was able to go up and go down. Mm -hmm. That's right. While you are yet in the body. Mm -hmm. Psalms 24. Let's go read that. Tell somebody we're entering to his rest. We're entering into his rest. We're entering into, his rest. We're entering into this place. Of command. Come on, you're coming to the general assembly. Yeah. Come on, you're not coming to the place that the world's burning with fire. Mm -hmm. No, you're coming to the holy mountain of yeah. God. Yeah. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. Yeah. For he hath founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? He that had clean hands and a pure heart, who had not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. So these people can go into the right. You you can you can go here. Yeah. 
These people that have clean hands, yeah. and you can yeah. ascend to the hill of the Lord. Yeah. You can ascend to the uh -huh. that's my, you can ascend to the hill of the Lord. You can, you can, can ascend to the Lord. Lord. He shall receive the blessing from the Lord mm -hmm. and righteousness from God of his salvation. This is the generation. Them. This, this right here is a generation yeah. of them that seek him. Uh -huh. That seek thy face, O Jacob, Selah. Lift up your heads, O you gates, yeah. and be ye lift up, you everlasting doors, and the king of glory shall come in. Who is the king of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O you gates, even lift them up, you everlasting doors, and the king of glory shall come in. Who is this king of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the king of glory. Tell somebody, we already somewhere else. We already, we already somewhere, somewhere else. else. John chapter 10. Verse 9. Look at this. Oh, Lord. John 10 and 9. What does it say? I am, I am the door. door. Oh, he's the door. What is he? The door too. He's a door. Keep going. By me, if any man enter in, he, he shall, shall be saved and shall go in and, and out and find pasture. Well, well, where is he going in and out? <laughs> if he's the door, um, he's the door. Where is he gonna? Where are you gonna go in and out and find your path? Where are you gonna go and get the word? David said, if, if I ascend into hell, you right there. If I right. if I'm going to heaven, you there too. Right. That, that means you could travel. Right. God, you're so amazing. Yes, he is. So, so he says he's the door, mm -hmm. and anybody that comes to him, they'll go in and out, and they can find, they can find pasture, they can find good pasture, but they go yeah. in and out mm -hmm. because before him were thieves and robbers. That's right. But he is the door. So he is the entry into the kingdom. Yeah, yeah. You have to go through his flesh to get into mm -hmm. Hebrews 9. Hebrews 9 and 3. Ooh, 9 and 1. For then verily, this is Hebrews 9 and 1. Then verily, the first covenant had also ordinances of divine service and in worldly sanctuary. For there was a tabernacle made, the first wherein was a candlestick and the table and a showbread, which is called the sanctuary. And after the second veil, the tabernacle, which is called the holiest of all, which had the golden censer and the ark of the covenant overlaid round about with gold, where it was a golden pot that had manna and Aaron's rod that budded and the tables of the covenant. And over it, the cherubims of glory, shouting the mercy seat of which we cannot now speak particularly. Now, when these things were, or, were thus ordained, the priests went always into the first tabernacle, accomplishing the service of God. But into the second veil went the high priest alone, every year, not without blood, which he offered for himself and for the errors of the people. Verse 8. The Holy Ghost, this signifying that the way into the holiest of all was not yet made manifest while as, yet, while as the first tabernacle was yet standing. So the Holy Ghost is saying because they had to go into the holiest of all. Nobody can go into, the, you have the priest that can be into the holy place, but right. the holiest of all, where the Ark of the Covenant is, only the high priest can, can go, go into. In. Right. So the Holy Ghost is signifying that this, this was a certain place that you had to go in to enter in, but it could not be changed until this was done away with. Right. Okay, verse, verse 9, which was a figure for the time then present in which were offered both gifts and sacrifice that could not make him that did the service perfect as pertaining to the conscience, which stood only in meats and drinks and divers washings and carnal ordinances and poles on them until the time of reformation. Time of reformation. But Christ, being come a high priest of good things to come, by a greater and more perfect tabernacle, not made with hands, that is to say, not of this building, mm -hmm. neither by the blood of goats and calves, but by his own blood, he entered in once into the holy place, having obtained eternal redemption for us. For if the blood of bulls and goats and ashes of a hyper sprinkling the unclean sanctified to the purifying of the flesh, how much more shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit, offer himself without spot to God, purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living God. 
For this cause, and for this cause, he is the mediator of the New Testament, that by means of death, for the redemption of the transgressions that were under the First Testament, they which are called might receive the promise of eternal inheritance. For where a testament is, there must also of necessity be the death of the testator. For a testimony is a force after men are dead, otherwise it is no strength at all while the testator liveth. Listen, when, when Jesus, when the tabernacle was there, and you saw that there was the holiest of all where only the priest could go. What happened? The father will receive the sacrifice and fire will come down from heaven and suck it up. Mm -hmm. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. He would offer the blood, sprinkle the blood on the Ark of the Covenant. He would have the, the mercy seat there. So blood was sprinkling there. The father, the fire would come down oh, and receive up the blood. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Jesus' blood is better than the blood of goats and bulls and anything else. But right. he's also now... He is also the high priest after the order of Melchizedek. So when Jesus was on the cross and he said, it is finished, mm -hmm. the Bible says the veil ripped. Right. Yes. yes. So we all can go in now. The veil ripped right. from top to the bottom. Right. Signifying that now you have access right. to what? Right. Uh, to go uh, in through your, for yourself. Come yeah. to the place. Yeah. The mount. Of Zion. Yeah. You're coming to the place of the general assembly. Yeah. You're coming into a <laughs> Yeah. You are transported into a whole nother place. Yeah. John was transported mm -hmm. to the kingdom of heaven. Yeah. While he's here on earth, while right. his body is sitting there, he's transported to heaven. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's transported to see time, right. to see space. To see judgment, to see everything that we see here. Right. Because the veil of the temple is torn. Access granted. Right. 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 Hallelujah. Jesus. When you enter into the, this is why you gotta get out the flesh. Right, right. Enoch walked with God, and then he was without. He just disappeared. Right. They never saw him again. Mm -hmm. Elisha was doing the works of God, yeah. but a chariot came and got him. Yeah. He went up, yeah. and right. he kept, he left, and he never came. Uh -huh. Right. Right, right, right. They did not see death. No. Mm -mm. God's people, Daniel, was praying because he had a dream that he did not understand. Mm -hmm. He asked the Lord for the interpretation of the dream. Yeah. And so the angel was warring in heaven, uh -huh. trying to get to Daniel right. to tell him the answer. Right. And so he said, listen, the very first day you pray, I heard you. Right. So he was coming to bring the news. Daniel had connection with the angelic forces. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Daniel had connection with the angelic forces that was trying to block the prayer, but he was praying and the Lord had sent him right. help. Right, yeah. right, yeah. right. Daniel was praying that the word would come. Yeah. Right. And it came. Yeah. Then he said, hold on, I gotta, I gotta go because I gotta fight again. Right. 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 Lord. right. You are on this earth, Jesus. but you're not of this yeah. world. Right. right. You're in the world, you're not of right. it. Right. So there are is spiritual help for you. Yes. Right. Yes. You have come yes. to the Mount right. Sinai. The gender, general assembly. You're coming to where the holy angels are. Yes, You're coming to. Lord. So when you enter into his rest, there's a place that was created for you to enter into. Yeah. 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 Lord. Lord. Star Trek. Beat me up, Scotty. Boom. Mm -hmm. Star Trek. They go. Mm -hmm. They went somewhere. My God. They come back. Wow. Mm -hmm. The two witnesses. In the book of Revelation, Come on. that God sends down for the people that are evil in the world. They hated these two witnesses because by them fire will fall down from heaven. Different things will happen, and he, they were always rebuking them for their evil works. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They ended up dying in the street. Mm -hmm. Their bodies are laid down for the whole world to see for three days. And then God says, Come on up. Right. But these people was partying while their bodies was in the street. Giving out gifts to one another mm -hmm. because they hated his words. Yes. Oh, 
They hated the words that they spoke. They hated being rebuked. Listen, these people gonna hate being rebuked. Yeah. Right. Look at what this is 2020. Yeah. This is November the 8th, 2020. Yeah. People are going to hate to hear the word of God and right. they're going to hate the true signs of the ones mm -hmm. coming. Uh -huh. Right. Right. Because it is their end. Right. The Satanists hate the Christians. Only the Christians that operate in the spirit that part. are the ones that they are intimidated that by. That part because right Because they there. know that when they see you, they see Jesus. No. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You can't do this in the flesh. Ah, my when you're God. in the flesh, you operating in a materialistic world. My God. And you're only operating with lower plane ideas and things. But Jesus is a spirit. Yes. He came down to this world. Yes. He was the word made flesh. Yes. Yeah. But he was first spirit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now, look, we gotta enter in. Yeah. You don't want to do your own works. Uh huh. You don't want to do your own works. Uh huh. Because when you do your own works, you can't enter into this rest. See. You won't be able to battle on this level. See. You won't be able to be praying and have angels working with you See? as you are praying. You See? won't be. Able, listen, we're in a whole different time. We're not under the Man. order of Aaronic priesthood. You are under the order of Melchizedek. Right. Right. Jesus is the high priest. Yes. He's already there and he's open. He's waiting. How yes. can he tell you you are seated in heavenly places? In right, Jesus? right, right. How can that be said about you right, right. now? Right, right. Hmm. Think hmm. Ephesians chapter 2. How can this be said of you if it wasn't true? Amen. So when you begin to pray, you cannot pray from the earthly plane. No, you cannot. You cannot pray and get results from my the God. earthly plane. My God. Because in Ephesians, oh my God. Ephesians chapter 2. And let's look at verse 4. But God, who is rich in mercy for his great love wherewith he loved us, even when we are dead, and when we are dead in sins, have quickened us together with Christ. Yeah. By grace you are saved. And have raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. That in the ages to come he might show the, excellent, the exceeding riches of his grace and his kindness toward us through Christ Jesus. For by grace are you saved through faith, that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, because of Christ, because of Christ, he had raised them up together and made us sit together. So, when Christ rose, we rose. Right. Amen. That's right. When Christ died, our sins died. were put to right. death with him. Right. Says, died with him. But when Christ rose right. and he was gone to his throne, mm -hmm. he said, I'm going to take your resurrected body. Yeah. Because to me, you resurrected. Mm -hmm. So come on. I'm going to my throne, mm -hmm. and you're going to be sitting with me uh -huh. in the throne till I make the enemies your footstool. Uh, uh, so now you get to sit with me, yeah. and we get to see what's going on on the earth, yeah. and we get to look down and say, okay, what are we going to do about this? So yeah. just like Esther yeah. had to say, come on, Malachi, come on, Mordecai, uncle, we got some enemies that we got to destroy. Right. And so we got to flip this thing. The enemies think that right. they're going to come and kill us. Right. But we're going to come and kill them. Right. And so what does he do? Right. He says, okay, the day that they think that they're going to come kill you, yeah. I'm going to put a plan out because yeah. it's going to be the divine reversal. Yeah. Instead of them coming to kill you, you're going to go and get them. Uh, oh my God. Yeah. So while you're waiting, come sit in your seat. Uh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> okay. My God. Esther has a seat. Esther, she got a seat and she is putting out the charges. Right. What do we do, Uncle Mordecai? Right. What do we do? So Christ has seated us in the heavenly places. Right, yeah. It's already done. You already got a seat of power right, and authority. Right. You just got to sit right. and use your power right. from this right. level, right. not from down here. Wow. Wow. So when she stands, and that's a heavenly place. Yeah, yeah. The earth got to give attention. Yeah. And the earth got to submit to what's happening in the heavenly 
can't handle the pussies. We don't do this alone. Right. Amen. Mm -hmm. Everybody, your seat is a heavenly seat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Stand up and pray. Ah, yeah, yeah. Yes. You're sitting in heaven. Who shall ascend into the throne of the Lord? Who's going to ascend into the hill of the Lord? Who's going to? You got to have clean hands and a pure heart. Otherwise, you're working on the earth realm. So, he says, I'm trying to get people to understand. Yes. When they enter into my rest, they enter up with me. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Wow. And when they enter up with me, do you know how many general assembly men there are? Hmm. You know how many angels that are up here with us? My God. And you down here speaking the word, and the word is manifesting what is true down here for you? My God. My God. <laughs> when you, when you graduate, when you graduate from preschool to elementary school, you leave your preschool class and you now go to kindergarten. Mm -hmm. You're in a whole different class. You got a whole different kind of learning pattern. You got yeah, things yeah. that you learn different. When you graduate from kindergarten, you go to first grade, you have a whole different level of understanding. You go from junior high school to middle school, well, well elementary to middle school, you got a whole different level of understanding. Mm -hmm. You go from, from high school to college, you got a whole different level of understanding. You go from different levels to levels. So yeah. we go from level to level. Yeah. We go from faith to faith. Yeah. We go from glory to glory. Yeah. But what you need to understand is God is saying, will you understand that you are not speaking in the earthly realm? Come on, come on, come on. So when he seated us together in heavenly places with himself. Yeah. He said, I sit you. What does the scripture say? Far above what? All principalities. What else does it say? Where does he sit you above? Principalities and powers. He sits you where? Above principalities and powers. Okay, so principalities, powers, they all, they all down here. Mm -hmm. And you all above it. Uh-huh. What can they do to you? Hmm. Nothing. 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 No, see, because you're scared of the noise. So all noise shakers and bakers, huh. they're down here. <laughs> but you see that above. Right. All that noise don't make no right. sense. Right, right. <laughs> but you ain't going to understand <laughs> what power and authority you have oh until God. you are in the spirit. Yeah. My God. I'm above only. 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 I'm above
Japanese. Only. My God. Only. Jesus. I'm above. I'm above. I'm above. I'm above. Only. 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 Jesus. How can this affect you when you're above only and not beneath? Jesus. They're just making a bunch of noise. My God. My God. Just, you know, just acting like kids. Thank you, Father. Y'all remember that movie? With the, with the little, oh no, there's another movie. This little girl and all these demons playing around her, they, they <laughs> her mama was whooping her. Her daddy was whooping her. But she opened the door to all these demons and they just, and she playing all around the house, knocking herself all over. But it's some demons making all this noise. Wow. Them demons is making all the noise. They didn't know that this little girl had opened the door by planting some evil things in the dirt that attracted the evil spirits to their house. But when it became manifested, that girl had to dig up that stuff and those demons had to leave. Mm -hmm. The word of God will allow things to be manifested yeah. that has been hidden yeah. that you don't understand yeah. why demons is operating yeah. on your property. Yeah, mm. my God, yeah. my God. So we are seated. In heavenly places in Christ Jesus. And yes. I was, I gotta cut because I can't cut. But this is what you need to know. In this end time that we are in right now, where we are now, tell somebody you cannot look at this, you can't look at things the same way anymore. Spirit. Test the spirit. Yeah. Try the spirit. Yeah. yeah. See if they are of the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. The word of God will manifest who or what they are. Yeah. But you have to be in the spirit. Yes. So there's no witch. Right. Yes. There's no warlock. Yes. There's no enchanter. My God. There's no My evil God. Dreamer of dreams. Nobody that can come to you and be able to feed you. This is my, I ain't eating. I'm not a, I'm not a thirsty eater. I'm, I'm not, not a thirsty, thirsty eater. eater. I ain't thirsty. I don't want it. Uh, I don't need it. No. See, mom, don't go to them that say, go to the ones that peep and mother. Go to them. What am I going to go to the witches for? Right. right. Okay. The devil is a liar. Mm -hmm. He says, suffering the witch not to live. That's what he said. My God. Uh, if you don't get anything, Enter in to his rest yeah. by believing his word. Yeah. The works were already done from the beginning. Yeah. That's why you say it's finished. Jesus yeah. said it's finished. Yeah. Yeah. When he said it is finished, it is finished. Yeah. There's nothing more he can do but help you walk in your authority. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. Jesus. So these Demon powers that is operating in this time wanted to take over the whole world. Mm -hmm. The saints and the mouth of the saints, because God is with them. Yeah. God said, I'm not gonna let that stand. I ain't mm -hmm. going for that. Mm -mm. It's not gonna stand. Mm -hmm. So look at them say one word. One, one word. word. So what do we do? When we start going into our prayer, yes. we start going into binding and loosing. Yes. Remember, you're not sitting in the earthly seat. Mm -hmm. You're sitting in heavenly places mm -hmm. in Christ Jesus. Yeah. You're far above. We are. All the principles and powers of those stars. You. You're a far, you're above that. And all they're doing is making a bunch of noise mm -hmm. to get your attention. Yeah. To distract you yeah. from your focus. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. said, we will not be distracted. We will not be distracted. We believe God. We believe God. God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we do yes, thank God. you. Father, we thank you and we praise you for your word. We yes. give your name the glory, the honor, and the praise. Father God, I pray, Lord, that you will continue to reveal to the people of God the thing that you will want them to know in this message. 
Father God, I thank you, Lord, that you take us from glory to glory yes, and from strength to strength. Yes, I thank you, Father God, that you give us revelation, manifestation. You give us understanding of your word. Yes, Father God, I pray, God, that this people, hallelujah, will come from glory to glory. Take them up to another level of glory. Yes, Graduate them to another level of glory. Yes, Father, in the name of Jesus, that they will see and know. No weapon formed against you shall be able to prosper. Yes, God. And every tongue that rises up against you in judgment, God said you have the power to utterly condemn. Yes, yes. This is your heritage as a servant of the Lord and now children of God, an heir of God. This is your heritage. Yes. Use what you have been given. Yes. Use the tools that he has given you to use. Father, we bless you. We praise you. We yes, give you glory. Lord. Yes, we give Lord. you honor. We yes, give you Lord. praise. Yes, in Jesus' name, come on and clap your hands. Thank people. you. Imagination and spirit realm. Mm -hmm. Disneyland is created by some man's imagination. Right. Mm -hmm. There's a movie called Tomorrowland, based on somebody else's imaginations for tomorrow. A lot of times they put these movies out so they can prophesy to you what they're gonna do. Mm -hmm. And they want you to accept what they're gonna do. But you start pleading the blood of Jesus. Your assignment yes. is canceled. Your yes. plans are canceled yes. in Jesus' name. You cannot come before your time. All right. And your time is already not here. Yeah. Not here. Because God's kingdom is a forever kingdom. There is no end. Right. Yeah, man. So understand this. God wants you to understand his kingdom is well, and that means you have victory, victory, victory. Yeah. Nothing but victory, 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 victory. Nothing but victory. Nothing but victory. Nothing. You can expect nothing but victory. Yeah. Expect nothing but victory. We expect nothing but victory. That's it. The only time you can be in defeat is if you agree with an enemy that comes in your midst and you still allow them to be there. Right. 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 That's when your stuff starts falling apart. Right. Because you got a wicked doer in your midst. See. And then the things that God started to bless you with start falling apart. See. Because the wicked deceiver is in your midst. Get him out when God it. says separate, separate. That's right. Amen. Cut it off, cut it off. That's yeah. right. Is there to hinder your prosperity that just came for you? Wow. Right. So what do we do? We give God praise. Yeah, that's it. And we become obedient always unto that's his word. That's it. Any place we miss it, we just repeat it. Yeah. That's it. If you want to give, we have the God bless you.